Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, July 5th, the day after the 4th of July. I hope y'all 4th of July was really, really, really awesome and great and everything you wanted it to be. And I hope you guys were safe out there with all those fireworks. I, on the other hand, didn't do anything. I stayed in the house because we were going to go downtown, but I knew San Diego was probably packed down there. And being that Shane is just, you know, really still in the process of healing, he didn't even feel like being nudged or pushed, so I was like, we won't go. So we didn't, even, we didn't go see the fireworks yesterday. Y'all, let me tell you something. I woke up this morning, and I don't know why I was thinking about why people don't like me it's none of your business and that is such a true statement it's none of your business you don't know why they don't like you they're not going to tell you why they don't like you and it's not your job to figure out why they don't like you if they're not willing to open up and say hey i have this impression or perception or just view of who you are can we talk about it a lot of people are not going to do that so guess what it's not your business Harbor is starting to light up. Look at these steps I'm about to go up. One more set of steps, and then we gotta go back down. I just decided to walk around downtown. Guess, kinda sorta reminiscing. when I had to do this to bring me back to why I'm so grateful for what I have. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the other side. Yeah, I have so much stuff in my hand, but I just went into a Ghirardelli ice cream shop. And I got me a caramel latte. I think this thing is really good. And that's the first time I've seen it. Why is that the first time I've seen it? And this, oh my gosh, Mike can give car, um, Starbucks some run for their money. Y'all, it's starting to um, light up down here. The nightlife in San Diego. Wait. Wow. It's Tuesday. Look, people look at me like, who is she talking to? Alright, y'all. Uh, I'm about to head back to the harbor. But look at all this light. Can you imagine what it's like on a Saturday night? Well, let me turn around. Turn the camera around so y'all can see what I see. And this is on a Tuesday night. I have a lot of money in my bank, I just can't get the money. So I'm a non customer because I have a debit card. It's a MasterCard and a debit card. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of that down here, too. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So it's not just the car drivers that drive crazy here. This is a convention center lit up at night. Look at the stairs. Look at the gas lamp lit up at night. Normally when we down here is during the day, but this is the gas lamp. At night, look how the sun lights up. It's nice people sitting outside eating. Let me 
make it over here to these stairs because I do have to walk back up the stairs and then walk back down the stairs to get to the car, which is on the other side of the convention center. Look at the lights from here. Yeah, I live here. That goes to show. When you want something different for your life, you can't sit around and hope. You're gonna have to step out on faith. Cause I hoped I could come to California, but it wasn't until I stepped out on faith that I made it here. Oh my gosh. And did I make it here. God, faith, and me. Did I say that in the right order? I think I did. Oh my goodness. Oh, there goes Joe's Crab Shack. I am, I know I say, I'm in California. I'm in California. But I am so, believe in that guys. I'm so humbled and blessed to be here. I truly am. I remember living in North Carolina. I lived in Charlotte for two years. I mean, well, I moved in 99, but the last two years, I couldn't find a job. God was saying, no, I'm not gonna let you advance here. I have something else in store for you. You keep trying to stay and I'm telling you to go. I could not find a job. Nothing, anything that I did was shut down. Let me tell you how bad it was. My daughter even attempted to go to school and could not attend school. She is working in, in school in California. It just wasn't meant for us to stay there. And the harder we tried to stay, the harder, the more difficult it got. So when God says let go, you should let go. But now, I live in San Diego. Can y'all believe I manage a department in a hospital? And when I came here, I was sleeping in a car. I slept in a car. <laughs> but it was well worth it. And again, my faith brought me so far. And now, I drove across country with nothing but gas money. I crossed the California border with $50 to my name. And that was it. Look at me now. Let me tell y'all something. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible with faith in God. I don't care who don't like me. It's not that they don't like me. It's, don't, it's that they don't like my victory. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. Look at the steps in the back of the convention center people are working on. Those are not as high as the ones in the front. But again, they don't lead to the front either. Look at the hotel lights. I think that's the Marriott and I forgot what the other hotel was. I know that's the Hilton right there. And then Joe's Crab Shack. And I'm parked down here. When I say I am blessed, and truly humbled to be a witness of God's miracle. What say my brother say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Came to California, slept in the car. Actually, we slept behind this convention center. We would park behind this convention center and just walk around and then park over here during the day so we could sleep because we were parking there at night. We couldn't park there. And then we would come over here so we could take a nap during the day after walking around and trying to figure out what was our next step. Here, again, nothing is impossible. I crossed the border with $50 to my name. $50. All right. What God has for you, he has for you. And I and my daughter truly believe 
We were brought here for a greater purpose than even we know. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here and I will talk to you guys later. Angel hugs to all my angels. Bye, guys.